Good morning, Bates. It is Monday. I'm here with Kat. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Kat, where you been? Oh, just helping out all I can in the morning, checking in with people, seeing some in-person people. Yeah. Stop, Whatever. stop getting invited. You know, it's the Mr. S and Mr. F show. No, it's not the case. It's an open invite. Also, Mr. Robinson, I know he's working hard at recess duty, but he is always more than welcome to join us as well. We miss his send off. I know he is the best one. You can't can't be matched. But but I guess, I, keep trying. I guess I better dream big. Sure, Speaking you know, of dreamers, all, what's going wanna, on? Yeah, I just want everybody to dream big and do the best that they can, and encourage other people to do the best they can because that's what me and the other Revere people like. Yeah. So this is the big kickoff of Revere Week, um, and as Miss Cat said, we want others to dream big, to reach their goals, and to support others in doing so as well. And that's what it's all about. Right, Kat? That's it. So she's rocking her blue. I, I want to encourage everyone else to rock their blue. We'll have some activities throughout the week that your teachers will follow up on. Um, but we, everyone should be promoting um, Revere because we all have a little Revere in us, um, even though I bleed green. Um, but uh, in Nelson, obviously, with his ST math skills, you can see how the bleeding green works out for you. All right. Anything else you want to add about Revere Week? Oh, let's go. Let's get my wolf pack going. Blue team living the dream. Oh, let's go. Best week of the year. Come on, kids. All right, my friends. And now it is time for our in-person remote beacons of the week. Good morning, Bates. It is Wednesday morning. We are halfway through the week. I'm here with Mr. Fonseca. How are you doing today? I am doing fantastic. Today is March 3rd, and we're so excited to have another day of our Bates Scholars. How are you doing, Mr. Softick? I'm doing well. You know why I'm doing really well? Because yesterday was freezing out. Yes. Right? It was like 12 degrees. The wind chill was negative eight. It was not a, a fun day to be outside, you know, walking to school or waiting to get picked up. Um, but today is going to be 46, and that doesn't seem like it's going to feel a whole lot warmer but it will don't you think it's all about comparisons mm -hmm. compared to yesterday today feels pretty amazing <laughs> absolutely so looking forward to that warmer weather at 46 degrees i mean that's what's great about living in new england you know when it's still in the 40s we appreciate that exactly so we're really grateful for this amazing weather and as we get closer to you know the month of april and then to the month of may we're going to see the weather generally start getting warmer and warmer Mm -hmm, absolutely. So this week is uh, Revere Week. Um, in, in honor of that, in Dreaming Big, mm -hmm. um, we have created a Padlet. And Mr. Fonseca, do you want to share that for absolutely. our community? Absolutely. So let me pull up this Padlet for everyone. So we were talking yesterday with Ms. Kat, and yesterday we talked with her about you know, what's one big dream that you have and what's one step that you're going to take to make it happen. And so in, in doing that, we actually wanted to go above just having the students, you know, your students talk to each other and talk to your teacher. And we now want you to start writing them down and start putting it in this Padlet that we're going to share out with everyone. So in the Padlet, after having another conversation with your teachers, actually get them to include some of those big dreams that you have and at least one step, one thing you're going to take to make that big dream happen. Because it's amazing to have great dreams, to have big dreams, but we also need action. We need to take steps to make our dreams come true. So that's our challenge to everyone today. On this Padlet, we we're going to write one, what that one big dream is, and two, what's one step you're going to take to make that big dream happen. Awesome. So we cannot wait to see some of those responses over the week, and we'll be sharing those, you know, each day. Because um, I'm sure everyone here is dreaming big. Um, you know, everyone's going to be so successful at Bates when they get older. You know, they're so skilled um, academically, making friends. Um, so I wish, you know, I had the skills that all of you did when I was your age. Um, so you guys are like bright stars into the future. So Mr. Fonseca is also Women's History Month. That is correct. And we wanted to, sh just like we shared out about Harriet Tubman, we want to share out about uh, some other women that have made an amazing change in history. So I'm going to share my screen again and want to share out actually about the sisters, Serena and Venus Williams. And so some of you may have heard about them. Uh, uh, some of you might have actually seen them play their tennis matches. They're both tennis players. 
And what's really cool about Venus and Serena Williams is that they're amazing tennis players who have won so many different uh, championships and they've won gold medals in the Olympics. And they're super high level tennis players. And not only are they individually, each one of them really good at tennis, but they're also amazing when they play together they play tennis, uh, they can sometimes play on their own called singles, but sometimes they play together called doubles as team members, and they help each other out. And together playing doubles, they've won over 22 different championships playing together. And four uh, Olympic gold medals playing right. doubles together. So that's so cool. So literally the greatest um, doubles team ever, right, yep. in tennis? Exactly. And they're sisters. So something just really cool. You know, how many of us, you know, do you think we could work really, really well with our one of our siblings and achieve something like this, you know, something to keep in mind. And it goes beyond, you know, just doing something great for your own once you've got that dream, but like working collaboratively with someone else so that you two can achieve something even bigger together. Yep. And so the sport of tennis, I think when it really got started, you know, it's kind of really for those who are wealthy or had money, right, at these country clubs. Um, and so that tended to be, you know, white males. Um, so as the sport evolved, you know, Venus and Serena William kind of broke down that barrier that, you know, people of color who are women can play tennis and they can play at a very high level. Um, and so they've opened the door to so many other athletes and people around the world. Um, so not only are they well respected in America, um, they're, you know, world renowned, you know, no matter what country you go to, people know who these sisters are because of what they've accomplished. Um, and so, you know, if you get an opportunity to take a look, look them up, um, you'll learn a lot about how to reach your goals or dream big, right, Mr. Fonseca? Um, and so then the two really good um, people to represent us today. Exactly. I couldn't agree more, Mr. Softick. So, you know, it is Women's History Month. And just like we talked about for Black History Month, it's about recognizing the achievements of women this month. But just like with Black History Month, it's not something that we're going to do just this month. It's something that we want to do throughout the year. Because every month is Black History Month. Every month is Women's History Month. Really, we really need to recognize these achievements all the time. Excellent. All right, so it is Wednesday. We're getting closer to the end of the week. If you are, if you want to earn Beacon of the Week, uh, make sure that you're doing what you need to do in the classroom. Go above and beyond. Um, help others out. You know, represent those core values at Bates, because um, we'd love to see you here Friday morning when we record. Um, you know, why you earned Beacon of the Week. Yeah, there's nothing more exciting than seeing a student who has never earned Beacon of the Week before make it for the first time. So that's happened a couple of different times this year, and we're just so excited about that. And we really want to see everyone have that experience. So really try your hardest, you know, even if you didn't get it last week or the week before, really show your teacher why you deserve to be Beacon of the Week, really going above and beyond. And you just show us like, I deserve to be Beacon of the Week because I'm really following these core values. I'm doing my best in class. I'm supporting my peers because we think that every student, you know, should really demonstrate that they can be a Beacon of the Week. Absolutely. So, Mr. Fonseca, that's going to wrap things up for us today. And you want to take it away? Sure. And as always, it's a great day to be great.